What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Kettlehead Brewing Company, and they're out of both Tilton and Franklin, New Hampshire, and this is their Dreams on Dreams on Dreams. So this is a triple IPA that comes in at 10% alcohol by volume, no IBUs list in time of review, and this can is just under six weeks old. So... It's been a while since I reviewed something from Kettlehead on the channel. I think it was last summer I reviewed a couple beers from them. So I wanted to grab something. And when I was going through their offerings here locally in the Buffalo, New York area, I uh, was trying to figure out what I was going to grab. And then I remember something that a very good friend of mine and fellow beer tuber, Jesse, over at Bumpy Road Brew, said to me a couple months back. He said, anytime you see a beer from them that has the word dream or dreams in it, you can rest assured that it's probably a good beer. Like, more often than not, it's going to be a pretty damn good beer. So, this says dreams on dreams on dreams. is triple IPA, so here we are. So, this one is using Citra, Nectaron, Galaxy, and Rico hops. And they originally brewed this one for their one-year anniversary of their production facility in Franklin. I think that was last year, and they just rebrewed this one earlier this year. I think this one... Um, just so you know, this one was uh, canned on January 22nd. So late January, they re-released this one. So anyway, I'm really excited about this one. Hopefully it's delicious. I can't wait to get into it. We're going to see. So let's give it a pour here. See how it goes. Ooh, that's a lot darker than I anticipated. Then again, then again. Okay. Well. Okay. Hopefully this beer is okay. Um, I picked it up uh off the, not off the shelf, off, uh, you know, out of the um, cooler uh, where I bought this. And it was kept cold the entire time, brought it home, put it right in the fridge. I'll just be honest with you. That looks like a very oxidized, <laughs> hazy triple IPA. Like it has like on camera, I don't know how dark it's going to look, but it looks like melted down caramel to some degree. Uh, has a two finger of this like lightly tan colored head. Head looks fantastic. The beer itself, hold it up to the light. Very murky and turbid, but it kind of just looks like an oxidized uh, IPA of some sort. That's a bummer because I hope that's not the case. And just it's maybe it's just dark because it's dark. I don't know. But everything in my body tells me this is oxidized. But we'll see. You got to give it a fair shot, right? Let's get a nose. Nose is nice. Has a lot of um, a lot of like citrus heavy kind of quality to it, but it's also like dank and earthy. Ooh, now I'm starting to get more of like passion fruit, pineapple, papaya. Wow, the nose just did like a 360, just sitting, a 360, a 180, Joe. Didn't do a 360, it did a 180, you weirdo. Yeah, now it's very vibrant and like sharp, like citrus, tropical fruit. It has a, like a confectionery sweetness that sometimes can be associated with these, uh, you know, potentially oxidized um, IPAs. But a lot of times I'll get it from the the, the malt, like uh, vanilla, cotton candy, bubble gum. A lot of times I get like a vanilla kind of character, like a sweet confectionery sugar. So, and again, you got to keep in mind it's 10% triple IPA. It's probably going to be sweet regardless. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it honestly it doesn't smell oxidized. So that's a good thing. Like, it doesn't have any of that, like, cardboardy, like, wet paper kind of, um, you know, nose to it. It doesn't smell like there's any off flavors. It has a nice, vibrant kind of fruit character with a little bit of that earthy kind of uh, quality to it. Slightly dank. All right, so it looks, I mean, listen, I'm not going to say it looks horrible, but for, <laughs> like, a New England or Hazy Eye uh, Triple IPA, it looks horrible. Um, but as a beer as a whole, it smells pretty good, so... Please don't be oxidized. Anyway, cheers, everyone. It's not bad. It's not bad. I think there is some oxidation going on, though, that is stopping this one from potentially being great. But it still has some nice flavor. So this is not a drain pour. This is not terrible. But I don't think it's necessarily exactly what they thought this beer was going to be. Um, at least based on what I'm drinking. I'm sure people out there, probably not all of their beers, uh, if they pick this one up, look like this and taste like this. But for me personally, 
it has a, a slight to moderate like oxidation note, but it's not it's not horrible. It's actually I'm probably gonna finish this. We'll see as I go through it, but I, I think it I think I think I'll be able to make it through it uh, because the flavors are actually nice outside of that oxidation character. All right, body mouthfeel. By this a bit thin for a triple IPA, but I'm all right. It's like higher side to medium. Um, but it enhances the drinkability. The mouth feels nice. There's a mild to moderate carbonation. But it is soft, smooth, and somewhat creamy. The um, the taste, it's funny because front to back, I'm getting a lot of different citrus and, and tropical characteristics. Like a zippy kind of lemon lime. There is a little bit of um, like a blood orange. Uh, there's a touch of like a sweeter grapefruit. That pineapple and papaya I was talking about in the nose, it's there. Um, but there's this underlying kind of like multi sweetness that is a little bit of caramel, a um, little confectionery tasting. So it's bumping up the sweetness and everything, right? And then on the second half of the palate, there's this earthy, slightly dank character. But on the finish, that's where you get that, like, I'm getting like a wet kind of cardboard uh, kind of feeling. So I think between that confectionery, like, sweetness in addition to the, the wet cardboard is definitely, you know, oxidized. But it doesn't take away from the beer as much as I thought when I first poured this one. I mean, this looks fucking, I mean, we're just, let's call a spade a spade here. This is, this looks fucking crazy oxidized. <laughs> like, it, it looks like one of these heavily fruited, um, you know, smoothie sour beers you get that has something that makes it that kind of color, like a fruit that just fucking takes it over the top, right? Like that is not how they intended the beer to look, but it's not horrible. I will say the 10% is hidden extremely well. And you can tell, like I've had oxidized beers before where like I take sips, I take sips and I'm just like, eee. you know, I'm definitely not, fin I'm probably going to finish this because it has nice enough flavors it hides the alcohol well. I paid for it. And it's not like, you know, a gross beer. I've had other beers on this channel where I've actually, you know, I've, I've, I've probably drained for, uh, drain pour uh, a decent amount of beers I've had from, for one reason or another, maybe the drinkability's not there, too sweet, too cloying, uh, oxidized, um, too boozy. Maybe I just got sick of it, whatever the case may be. I don't think I'm going to drain pour this one, but we'll see. I might not drink like the last like, you know, quarter of this or something. So mouth feels really nice. Hides the alcohol extremely well. There are nice flavors from the hops in the form of citrus fruit and tropical fruit. But then you get the oxidation level, that more of that confectionery sweetness, a little bit of that wet cardboard. So I have to knock it down a bit because of that. So I think if this wasn't oxidized, this would easily be in like, like if I didn't have that, that, that wet cardboard finish and that little bit of confectionery sweetness. This will probably get in like the 425 range, a little bit low, maybe like 41542. I'm gonna have it knocked down a little bit. Let me let me do one more sip and then we'll lock in a rating. Be forewarned though, I'm rating this based on this beer in my glass. Not what the beer is supposed to be, because obviously it's not supposed to look like this. It's I rate to what this beer is and I paid for it. I'm rating the fucking thing, right? You know, a lot of people are like, oh, you shouldn't rate that because it's off. Should I? Because I paid for it. And uh, and ratings don't matter in the grand scheme of things, right? Like ratings don't matter. If you watch a review and you argue or, or disagree with my rating, it don't because it's just my rating. Whatever you rate it, you rate it. But for me, I have to give this appropriate rating. And it's gonna be higher than probably you think, just because I'm still drinking this. And I think it's I think it's despite the oxidation, I still think this is a somewhat drinkable beer, especially since it hides the alcohol. And I don't hate it. It's just yeah, it's not for me. Um, I wouldn't put it this way. I wouldn't buy this beer again if this is what comes in in the in the cat. I wouldn't. So dreams on dreams on dreams from Kettlehead. Absolutely. I like. I have to. I have to stop myself from saying absolutely no issues. I say that in like every other review when I do a rating. But I'm gonna give this a low three seven five and go three point six five. I think that's the best I can do on this one. Um, it's fine. I'm gonna drink the rest of it, but. I wish I was able to try this one not oxidized. And again, kept cold the entire time, so I don't know what's up with it. But 3.65 out of 5 definitely has an oxidation level. And it's funny, shout out to Jesse, the aforementioned Jesse. He uh, stopped buying like EQ beers because their, <laughs> the oxidation levels of those beers were through the roof for a lot of them. He would buy entire four packs where like all but one of the beers in the four pack were oxidized and just trash. And um, now I get a kettlehead from his neck of the woods.
it's oxidized. It happens. It happens to the best of brewers. You know, it's just, I don't know, you know, what went wrong exactly in the canning process, but definitely has been oxidized to some degree. Price point. I don't remember what I paid for this one, but a triple IPA from Cattlehead or from like places outside of New York State here in Buffalo, probably six to seven bucks a can, maybe like six fifty for that. Uh, would I buy it again? I wouldn't buy this again, period, if that's what, you know, the beer is, is supposed to be, which I don't think it is. Um, but it's not a bad price point for a triple IPA, you know, coming from out of state. Um, if this was fine and not oxidized, yeah, no issues with that. And availability, we now get Kettlehead in New York State. I have no idea outside of New Hampshire what other states they uh, distribute to. But um, if you can get their stuff in your neck of the woods, you probably saw this one in the last couple months. Uh, I would love to retry this down the road if they re 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 I was going to say rebrew it. And I just started doing remix. Um, if they rebrew this one, I don't know if I re-review it, but I'd like to try one off camera just to see the difference. But this, this is not, I mean, I'm just looking at this beer. I can't wait to see what it looks like on my camera, but holy Christ, like that is, that is, that is oxidized beyond belief. It really is. Um, look wise. The taste, not as much. Anyway, if you've had this one before and it wasn't oxidized, let me know what you thought about it. If you've had this one before and it was, let me know as well. I'd be curious. So, um, you know, hopefully uh, Kettlehead sees this. I'll probably, you know, put something on Instagram and, and tag them uh, and maybe they'll see it. And, uh, you know, we'll see. I don't know. I just hope that uh, the next time I pick up one of their beers, I don't have this issue. Anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. I will say the one thing... Positive also, or another positive thing about this one is, despite that confectionery sweetness, it's not cloying, which is a good thing, which is why I'll be able to drink the vast majority of this. And you would think, based on what I've been saying, it might be cloying. It's not. So anyway, appreciate it. Till the next one. Cheers.